टॉकिंग अबाउट एडलेट टेस्ट मैच थर्टी सिक्स ऑल आउट हमने किसी ने भी नहीं सोचा था शायद मतलब आप लोगों ने भी नहीं सोचा था कि ऐसे सब होगा इफ यूर डाउन दे कैन मेक यू फील यू नो यू गोन बी यू गोन बी इन अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीक्स एंड दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वॉट हैपन हियर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज वेल I was in lot of pain, but it was a sweet pain because it was a sweet victory for us. I think probably one of the best test matches I've been part of. You are such a wonderful master teller of stories. The the layers in which you work in your movies. When when you look at this entire entire incident as as a script, as a narrative. about the ups and downs of what happened backs against the wall coming back players getting injured how difficult was it for you to put it together as a series that people could relive it all over again so i'll tell you the origin story of this one it's pretty interesting uh, this was the third test when you guys were on the field and uh, uh, the last day when uh, ashwin and uh, vihari they were slogging it out taking blows and stuff like that and when you guys managed to draw that test sudeep can you raise your hand over there yeah sudeep uh, essentially uh, he's one of the producers he came and said that this is a great story and uh, i just impulsively replied no the great story will happen if they win the fourth test and uh, no one had a clue i mean i'm i'm sure that you guys were also uh, clueless about what's going to unfold but that in a way was the origin point of the story so uh the four test happened and the very next day he was making calls to everyone and trying to figure out how to piece this together let's just talk about the fact that you know we we were we were having a laugh of this when we were shooting for some content in the other room about uh, the team coming into his hands when they were 36 all out in that first test and and virat had to leave and he obviously knew that he had to leave but that must have been a very hard situation for you to kind of deal with to get your head around that Listen, we have our backs against the wall. We can try forgetting about this, but this is the reality. How did you deal with that situation there? What were you really thinking of, and how did you? I, I know that you got the senior guys together in the team, but what was your mindset then? First of all, let me thank Neeraj sir uh, for watching that uh, third test match. If you didn't watch the match, then you thought it was a documentary. Thank you. So, thank you for that. But I think talking about Adelaide test match, 36 all out, we had never even thought of it. शायद मतलब आप लोगों ने भी नहीं सोचा था कि ऐसे सब होगा हमारा यही था कि अगर हम अच्छा खेलते हैं उस दिन पर तो हम लोग एक अच्छे पोजीशन में आ जाएंगे मैच जीतने के लिए बट सडनली चीज़ एक डिफरेंट हो गई एक घंटे में गेम कम्प्लीटली चेंज हो गया और मुझे पता था उससे पहले कि एडलेट के बाद मैं कप्तान होने वाला हूँ विराट जाने वाला है तो मैंने अपने प्लान्स एज अ लीडर एज अ कैप्टन पहले बनाए थे कि मेरे स्ट्रैटेजीज क्या होंगे लेकिन एडलेट के बाद कम्प्लीटली मैं पता नहीं चल रहा था कि क्या होगा मुझे क्या करना है और पर्सनली मैं रूम पे जाके मैं बैठा रहा मैंने सोच मैंने सोचा कि अभी यहाँ से मैं टीम को कैसे ऊपर लाऊंगा बहुत लोग मेरे पर्सनल परफॉर्मेंस के बारे में बात कर रहे थे मेरा फॉर्म अच्छा बुरा अच्छा बुरा चल रहा था वो एक चीज़ वो एक चीज़ थी और उसके बाद मेरा फोकस था कि मैं टीम कैसे टीम को कैसे ऊपर लाऊँ वहाँ से तो हमने एज अ टीम यही डिसाइड किया कि आइडलेट में वी विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट क्रिकेट एट ऑल कि क्या हुआ उस मैच में विल विल हैव टीम डिनर्स विल हैव टीम एक्टिविटीज़ सो दैट हमारा माइंड कम्प्लीटली गेम गेम से दूर जाके हम टीम बॉन्डिंग के ऊपर फोकस करें और जब हम मेलबर्न जाएंगे उसके बाद विल फोकस ऑन आ क्रिकेट सो विद इट दैट विराट को हमने सेंड ऑफ सेंड ऑफ दिया जा रहे थे वापस और जब वेन वी वेंट टू मेलबर्न वी वी हैव टीम मीटिंग एंड वी डिसाइडेड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन प्लेइंग गुड क्रिकेट what people are talking about us is is not in our control we'll just focus on playing good cricket back each other and i thought i had a support uh, ashwin ka mujhe support tha puji ka support tha rohit was there uh, rohit ka support tha so i was actually blessed to have uh, these guys with me ashwin i want to ask you like just in terms of india pakistan of course has been this rivalry going on for many many years but just how tough is it if you could explain to people playing in australia against the australians in their home turf and and the entire experience that goes with that See, generally, uh, tours abroad are never easy for the simple reason that you are going into different conditions. That's uh, that's something that's not explainable until you go and play. You will never feel that. But uh, more than that, it's the support of the public. It's you're, you're playing against the media there. You're playing against the senior players who are 
going to be backing their teams. It happens a lot, especially in Australia. Um, the people, if you're down, they can make you feel, you know, you're going to be… you're going to be in a lot of trouble for the next few weeks and that's exactly what happened here in Australia as well. Uh, a lot of people might have seen what happened on social media and what sort of comments people had to make. Uh, personally, I don't know how many of the other guys would have read into it, but these things really, uh, you know, sort of give me the necessary motivation to come out and say, okay, boss, you're wrong. We can't do it. We are here to do it. But I don't know if it's there as a part of the documentary, but I felt there was… there was a sort of a, you know, a very external aid that came our way because we wanted to do it, but at the end of the day, there is, these are these one percenters that will tell you that this will happen. We won the test in Melbourne, yes, that was the turnaround, but I don't know how many guys remember here, we were on a flight to uh, Sydney. I actually felt, okay, we come back and this flight was landing in Sydney and we got stuck in a thundershower. And uh, it was in… it was in the midst of a lightning and all that and the flight was actually going in different directions. I felt, okay, this… if this is what is destiny, you <laughs> lose a test for 36 and you come to Melbourne in a remarkable turnaround test and then you might not land in Sydney for the third <laughs> test. <laughs> that kind of gives you a gist of what's… Uh, what life is all about. So, uh, the moment I think everything came to settling nerves and we all landed and the Sydney test panned out, there was a lot of backstory to it. But by the time we had come there, I think the resolve of the team had strengthened a lot and uh, it became the resolve of this Indian team versus anything that was thrown at it. And I could… I could… I could still remember the fact that uh, the team was almost oblivion to anything that was happening and it was meant to be. Yeah, you had us all at the edge of our seats, the both of you. You held the fort till the end. It was incredible that performance by you. And what I was talking about before in the dressing room was that we don't have to play in a place. Their teammates were also sitting in their seats for 5-5 hours. Nobody moved, nobody moved, nobody went to the bathroom as Ajinkya was telling us. So, the nerves are with us and more, the nerves are also with them. So, it was absolutely remarkable what happened. Let's, uh, let's talk to the man now who can uh, endure a lot of pain on his body, who can uh, probably be hit by a truck, who can be hit by an aeroplane, who can be hit by anything in the world and that's Cheteshwar Pujara who stood tall and said, I'm not going to leave my wicket, I, if I can't hit the bat, I'm going to put my body in there. How badly were you bruised at the end of, uh, of the matches when you'd walk back into the room? Were there spots all over the body? Tell us your condition at the end of the day. I think, uh, but uh, yeah, when I got hit in that particular test match, there were so many bruises. But in, at the end of the day, uh, you know, when I spoke to my family, when I spoke to my wife, when I spoke to my daughter, they were a little concerned, they were worried that uh, if there was anything serious and I told them, uh, no, there wasn't nothing, there was nothing serious about it. Uh, yes, I was in a lot of pain, but it was a sweet pain because it was a sweet victory for us. I think probably one of the best test matches I've been part of. So yeah, when you get hit on the body, uh, the only thing you can do is uh, not think about it and have a bigger picture. Only thing I had in my mind in that particular test match was to, you know, ensure that we don't lose too many wickets in first and second session. Uh, and that was part of uh, our game plan as well. And uh, by the tea time, uh, we didn't lose too many wickets. There was a platform set for Rishabh to come in and, you know, play his game. But till then, I mean, whenever I was getting hit on my body, I wanted to show that, make sure that uh, we don't lose that test match. Till that time, we were not thinking about the victory. Maybe at tea time, there was another strategy. But before that, we wanted to make sure that we don't lose that particular test match. And when I get hit on the body, I just kept telling myself that, uh, you know, look at the bigger picture, don't worry about the pain. Yeah. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, Pujara, I want to ask you, how was it to bat with Rishabh Pant on the other side? You both were in different gears, but equally effective. What were you chatting with each other? Were you calming him down, saying that, but he calmed down, I, abhi bahut match I, baki hai? I try my best to calm him down, but he, everyone knows that he doesn't listen too much about what, what the non-striker says. Uh, but he has a, his way of batting. I think uh, he uh, likes to, you know, back his instincts and play his shots. So sometimes, yes, I do uh, try and tell him that uh, there are phases where you need to be a little watchful. But apart from that, you just have to allow him to play his game uh, and not try and advise him too much because uh, whenever we had a good partnership, the lesser I talked, uh, better he has batted, sir. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.